Hi, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. Uh, today I'm going to show you our repair sleeve kit for the 5-speed push type Subaru Liberty, Impreza, Forester and Outback models. Um, this kit we've developed uh, for the 5-speed transmission where after 100,000 k's or so they tend to get um, quite worn in the nose cone and as a result you can get jerky pedal operation. So we developed this to um, put a large bearing over the nose cone uh, which avoids having to replace the transmission casing or any other difficult machining processes to re resolve the issue. Uh, the kit comes with a new release bearing with larger ID, new release bearing clips, um, replacement snout, grub screws, a hex key tool to do it up, spline grease and thread lock. Okay, what we're going to do first thing is uh, just put a little bit of thread lock on the grub screws. So, just put a small amount on there and stick that in the hole. Okay, so now we're going to put the uh, sleeve onto the transmission. We obviously put the ridge towards the back and what we're going to do is align the top grub screw in the very top of the transmission like that. And then all we do is just tighten those grub screws. Give them a fair bit of pressure so that that will lock in with the thread lock. And make sure that that's nice and firm on there. The next step is we're going to put some lubrication grease, which we supply in the kits, onto all of the parts that need them. So the first bit is going to be inside the release bearing in there. We're also going to do, just on these pivot points here, where the four kits, and just give them a good wipe around, make sure they're nicely covered but not over greased. Then we're going to install the clips. So normally I align the fork on there, hook the clip in on each side partially. And then clip the ends down. The next step is we're going to put some lubrication on all the parts on the gearbox here. So we're going to put some grease onto there and also onto our pivot ball. It's very important to lubricate the pivot ball. We also want to make sure our shaft on the gearbox spline is lubricated and just smear them over. Once we're satisfied that we've got enough on, on there, we can install the fork. Clip that onto your pivot ball and check that you've got a smooth operation on the sleeve.